Yeah, March 26th meeting of the Transportation Committee will now come to order. Madam Clerk, could you please call roll? Mr. Ancello? Here. Mr. Barker? Here. Dr. Carbone? Here. Chairman Colby? Here. Mr. Gamble? Here. Mr. Patterson? Here. Mrs. Valerio? Is there anyone signed up at this time for public forum? There is not. Is there anyone present that would like to address this committee at this time? Seeing none, the next item on the agenda is approval of the minutes. You have the 26th, February 26th minutes before you of the Transportation Committee. They stand approved unless the clerk is notified of any changes by the end of the day. The next item is new business. Referral 13-90. Moved by Dr. Capone, second by Mary Valerio. Any questions? Yes, Legislator Patterson. Through the chair to the administration. Um, item 13, uh, we're amending uh, the 2013 capital budget and bond resolu resolution 311 of 2012 for an increase of funding. Um, how were the contracts for the original 125,000 to be let originally? Uh, through the chair, the, the other $125,000 is for we either go through purchasing to buy equipment for our signals during the year or it might be through a contract uh, through purchasing for loop work or whatever, but it's just traffic signal maintenance work that's done through the year. And through the chair, so with this wonderful windfall that we're looking at now, will we be looking to continue that same process? Uh, th through the chair, uh, actually no, the majority of the money that we're making the amendment for is going to the countdown pedestrian signal indication uh, project that we were very successful and got uh, federal funding for, for safety money and safe route to school money to put down, count down pedestrian signals at all the remaining Monroe County and City of Rochester owned traffic signals. That, that's wonderful. Through the chair. Um, how, how, how are these funds to be let? I mean, obviously somebody's got to do the work. Who's going to be doing the work on this? Oh, through the, through the chair, uh, we anticipate doing that work uh, with uh, buying, the, buying the material through the uh, federal requirements and doing the work with our forces. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so no, con no outside contracting. This is all Monroe County staff. They're doing the work. Through the chair, that is the plan, yes. Oh, wonderful. All right, thank you. Anybody else have any other questions? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Next item. Referral 13-100. Moved by Legislator Barker, second by Legislator Anicello. Any questions? Legislator Patterson. Thank you. Uh, through the chair to the administration, um, what was the original total value of uh, Resolution 43 of 2012? Through the chair, Jason Kennedy with Environmental Services. Uh, the original uh, resolution authorized uh, not to exceed amount of $110,000 annually. Thank you. Through the chair, um, how much are you adding to this resolution? Uh, through the chair, we're actually not adding any additional authorization. We're simply adding uh, additional capital fund sources that can be utilized uh, for the, for the uh, material testing services. Uh, and uh, particular, specifically, rather, uh, DOT uh, capital funds that unfortunately were not contemplated in the original resolution. So in order to utilize those for services and for Mr. Rice and his uh, department to be able to utilize the contract, we have to add these DOT specific funds. Okay, through the chair, help me because I think I'm confused. So we're not adding any money to it, is that correct? Uh, through the chair, that's correct. Okay, so through the chair, we're only adding additional sources to it. Through the chair, that's correct. Thank you. Any other questions? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Next item, please. Referral 13 Moved by Mary Valerio, second by Dr. Cabone. Um, this is a matter of 
important? Do you want to explain why it's a matter of them, uh, importance? Before we start the... Reason why it's a matter of importance, uh, when uh, by the time we got it out to bid, we couldn't make the normal cycle, and we wanted to get uh, the contractor out on the street doing the work as soon as possible, so therefore we could uh, just about ensure weather permitting that the work gets done this year and not goes into and does not go into next year. Okay. Anybody else have any other questions? Uh, Legislator Patterson is the person today. Thank you. Through the chair, um, this is the project you have listed in your uh, 2012 uh, plan as a uh, 2013 project from Route 250 to the Rush Henrietta Town Line. Uh, through the chair, that's 251. Yeah, you're correct. Okay, sorry, yeah. 250. Okay. Okay. 250 is in Parenton. That's yeah, right. I'm sorry. That's a long, <laughs> road. That's a long you know road. That's a long road, and it, I actually wrote 251, so you're okay. right. Okay, all right, no problem. Uh, 251 to the Rush Town line, that's correct. Okay, thank you. And through the chair, um, are there DBE goals for this project? Uh, th through the chair, yes. For uh, county projects, there's uh, the 10 and 2 for 10% uh, minority and 2% uh, woman for the, for the contractor. And through the chair, uh, are there EEO goals for this project? Through the chair, what, what was your first, your first question was the same, I thought. No, the DBE is oh, the business. Through the, I stand corrected then, sorry. No, I'm sorry. I, I thought you said EEO. Uh, they're I, both the, right. for the contract as well as the people working on the job, okay. uh, for the EEO as well as for the my MBE, WBE, they're both 10 and 2 for both. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? See none and all those in favor say aye. 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 Motion, any, any opposed? Motion carried. Um, there is no unfinished business to come before this committee. Oh, Mary Valerio has something. I hope it's relative. Mr. Chair, I'd like to start out with a, a couple of questions for um, Mr. Rice. Um, Last uh, cycle, we had uh, two referrals regarding construction in the towns of Chile and in um, Wheatland. And I'm particularly um, interested in the town of Chile. Um, the project got passed, but the bonding did not. Perhaps, yes. And I, it passed through this committee. Yes. But, but Mr. Rice, uh, through you, Mr. Mr. Chairman, to Mr. Rice, um, could you tell me, please, um, approximately how many jobs um, are put on hold as a result of the, of the demise of the bond? Uh, th through the chair, the, the estimate that's used in the industry is about 30 construction jobs per million dollars of construction for highway transportation type work. So I believe the uh, one project was about 3.1 million, so thereabouts 90 to 95 jobs somewhere in there. Um, and the other project uh, was, I believe, about a $700,000 contract so somewhere about 20, 25, probably 25 jobs. And, so. and how many months do you imagine that um, they would have worked on that project? Uh, through the chair, both, uh, both those projects would be through from this time of year, the April, May time, to uh, through, um, through the end of the season, through, through November. Through November, okay. All right, uh, through you, Mr. Chair, um, to my colleagues, uh, Mr. Patterson um, and Mr. Gamble, um, I, I am perplexed. We, you know, did not see um, any sign that, you know, this would have not passed, given that it had passed in bonding um, in the capital budget, et cetera, and um, then out of the blue, um, it was it was uh, put down and and. You know, I ju we just feel terribly that these people who next month would, would have been working now will not have a job. Could you please explain your votes because we didn't have an opportunity to hear any discussion at that time. Mr. Patterson. Mr. Patterson. First, let me say that I am so very happy that I've been introduced to a mechanism of debate 
worked with my colleagues. I didn't know that this existed, and I am so very happy to, use, to see it, and I will be taking advantage of it in the future. That being said, both projects are currently fully funded. The first project, if memory serves me correctly, had five million and some change that had already been bonded for and approved. The second project had two million and some change that had already been approved. And as I'm sure you're aware, there are certain things that we are all working on and issues that we are dealing with. And though I am usually loath to defer to anyone, I would humbly submit that it would be best if your leaders spoke to our leaders and that those two items were brought back so that they could be voted on again. Just to correct you, they're not fully funded the way they are. That's why we had to have the resolution to increase the bond. Through the chair? That's a point that could well be argued, I'm sure. Well, when you have $5 million? If it's, we can't start a project if we don't know if we have enough money for the whole project. Well, those are some rather smooth numbers. One project's $5 million, the other project's $2 million, and they both need an additional $100,000. One could question those numbers. I'm not saying that they are questioned, but I would again suggest and highly recommend that the majority's leadership take the time out to sit down with our leadership, discuss the issues at hand, bring the items back, and who knows? I could see a, I could foresee a situation where we could well be voting on them at our next meeting. There's no other further information to come. <laughs> the committee stands adjourned. The next meeting for the Transportation Committee is April 23rd. <laughs>